Dear Dr. Dan, my 14-year-old son just came out of strands and my wife and I are beside ourselves with grief, guilt, and the stress of having to buy her a fancy dress for her upcoming quince and yara. you have any advice for us on how to get through this very difficult time? Blessings, Kairos de la Sopa, San Guapo, New Mexico. First of all, there are only two genders and you can't just jump from one to the other like switching from chunky peanut butter to creamy because you suddenly decided you no longer like nuts. You just have to deal with the equipment the good Lord gave you. After all, it's called an Adam's apple, not a Madam's apple. Okay, I actually did get the copyright on that one, so keep your ears peeled for an upcoming country song. Still working on the lyrics. All I have so far is, it's an Adam's apple, not a Madam's apple, something, something, put down that scalpel. Playing some stuff about beer, blue jeans, and beating up people who deserve it. As far as what to do about your son, this is a tough one because, lo, it's been scientifically proven that you can pray away the gay. Sadly, you cannot pray away the trans because, simply put, it doesn't rhyme. That said, I wouldn't recommend trying to prance away the trans as that may further exacerbate the problem. However, you might want to try and pants away the trans as a means of getting your son out of that cocktail dress and back into a pair of sturdy trousers. Hey, it's a start, and until science comes up with a better rhyme, it's pretty much all we can do.